everybody it's time for a June swap and I had a nifty idea at least I think it's nifty I went to my local dollar store and they had uh, boxes of cards for a dollar and so I picked some up just thinking I could use them for ATCs or whatever and then I remembered a conversation I had with Bunny um, if you if Bunny Sparkles is her um, name. Anyway, I had it with her for a while back ago, and she told me that she cut stencils into her playing cards. And I kind of went with that. I'm not as talented as Bunny. Uh, I don't know that I could draw and cut my own stencils. But what I can do is use my die cuts and my punches. So like this one, um, I, uh, I do this with my full-size ones all the time. Uh, let me find what my full-size ones like. I punched a bunch of... Uh, this is that... Um, it's little bitty. Hang on, let me get it out of here. It's the game tile die. And it's tiny. And it just does three little dies. And they come out like... Um, well, like game tiles. Like, you know, would have single letters on them. So, I did a whole sheet of those in white for me to use, and this is the scrap that was left um, from it, and as you can tell by how nasty it is, I've been using it as a stencil, and it is actually one of my favorite stencils right now. Um, I do the same thing with um, my feather dies. They make great stencils. This is from my gears. Uh, they make great little stencils. So... I thought, you know, why can't I do that in a playing card size? So that's what I did. And when I get through, oh, let's see, I have I have duplicates of some of them. I thought these would be great to go in my travel art journal. To store them, you can either put them back in the box or um, you can punch a hole up in the top corner of all of them and put them on one of these rings and just flip through to the one you want. So you could do it either way. So what we are going to do is we are going to swap um, playing card stencils. And we are going to do a swap of 11 different patterns. Okay? So you send, um, I'm going to say every person you swap with, and I'll tell you why in a second. You'll send every person 11. Okay, so just like I did here, um, I did as if I was going to do with two people, I did two of each one so that one for me, one for the person I'm swapping with. But here's, here's the nifty thing about this. There are 55 cards in a playing deck. 52 playing cards, two jokers, and then there's usually one either rule card or promo card for the company. So that's 55 cards. So if you swap with five people, uh, yourself and four others, then you will have 55 different stencils, an entire deck. <clears throat> so we're going to do this where you, if you don't want to swap with five people, uh, if you're like, I don't want to die cut or punch or draw and cut out um, 55 cards, which if you're drawing and cutting out with like an exacto knife, yeah, that's pretty labor intensive. I did all of these tonight, which was two sets, so that's 22. I did them all while I watched um, Two Broke Girls, so that's a half hour show. So there you go. I did 22 in half an hour, but they're all... Well, I say all die cuts. They're all die cuts, but this one, um, my my sequin die cut, which is my favorite for circles, was too long for a playing card. So I just took all my circle dies, punches, and crocodile, and made my own little pattern. Uh, so <sighs> swapping eleven, you can do single people, or you can do groups of five. And you can use dies, you can use punches, you can draw and cut out uh, whatever you want. Here's a little added bonus. If you do it with dies, you also end up <laughs> with all these super cool 
dies. Uh, yeah, I have a ton of dies now from this. I punched all mine with the pretty side of the card up. I did pick a card I liked, but that way I can just use these just like they are. All right, y'all. Talk to you later. Bye.